Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Sunday morning. There's a lot going on in the world, especially this weekend. This may not be the only video I do today. Uh, if you didn't hear already, uh, Iran jumped in and, uh, and into things here and hit the United States consulate site in Iraq overnight. This happened early uh, Sunday morning, late Saturday, uh, and uh, they launched dozens of ballistic missiles at the U.S. consulate site uh, in Erbil, Iraq. Uh, this is a significant escalation, especially here lately, between the U.S. and Iran. Uh, and, you know, apparently this particular, from what we can tell, this a, a particular attack uh, did not score a direct hit and damage a lot of things. It, it, there were no casualties reported. Um, but th it's definitely no doubt that it was intended for United States targets. So Iran is jumping in here. And, uh, you know, what will, what will be the response from the United States? It's interesting. It's been quiet so far. Um, but we've got multiple hot spots and more popping up around the world and it does concern me it concerns a lot of people you've got uh iran iran iraq syria right there uh issues you've got russia ukraine israel iran you know, these are all interconnected in some ways as well. You got China, Taiwan sitting out there. That's been kind of quiet lately, but it hadn't gone away. And you've got India, Pakistan. Now, they've, they're not friends by any means. Um, I've read a story where India says it accidentally fired a supersonic missile into Pakistan territory. This actually happened, I think, a day or so ago. I was just reading this uh, this morning, last night, this morning. I mean, I, first of all, I, I, my, que my first question is, how do you accidentally fire a supersonic missile into your enemy's territory? <laughs> and number two, how does that happen without absolute war just starting? But so far it hasn't, thank God. Uh, India says that it was a technical malfunction. Okay, um, I, I we don't know, but uh, no loss of life has been reported on this particular incident. And this could have been really bad. I mean, what if it hit a city? What if it hit a population area, a densely populated area? Whew. I mean, you know, uh, but this is just an example of all these hot spots building up around the world. Uh, this is an example of how, you know, a mishap uh, could occur and just start a chain reaction and just light a fire, you know, light the powder keg and just spread. Because it does look like things are lining up, battle lines are being drawn uh, around, uh, all over. Uh, you've got Europe, you've got Asia, you've got Southeast Asia, Middle East. I mean, it's like a perfect storm that is building up, in my opinion, just looking at things, you know. Uh, Russia, Ukraine update. Uh, casualties, a good bit of casualties are being reported. There was a massive airstrike on a Ukrainian airbase this morning, earlier today. Uh, only thir This occurred only 13 miles from the border with Poland. So, yeah, we have a lot of troops. We have a lot of people in Poland. In my opinion, I don't think Putin is not going to stop uh, at, at Ukraine. He, he has eyes, and this is, uh, a lot of people believe this, but uh, he has eyes, his eyes uh, on the West as well. I believe that he views the West as having a low tolerance for pain, war. Um. I really do. Uh, I really do think, and, I, and I, part of me wonders if 
you know, there have been all these reports of, of disorganization so far on Russia's part with uh, their invasion of Ukraine. And I just wonder that, is he using his, not the best equipment, not the best troops, conscripts to take Ukraine? He figured they were going to collapse quicker, probably. Uh, but he's saving his good stuff for later, saving his good stuff for the West. That's my thought. That's just my theory. You know. um, there is rumors of martial law being uh, being put down in uh, Russia or uh, parts of Russia, Moscow. There's a lot of I don't know if I believe that or not, but I, that was something that, report, that was reported. But there have been a lot of demonstrations around Russia, Moscow, uh, anti-war. Uh, the people don't like this, what's going on, from what they're hearing. Of course, uh, the Russian government's not letting this, them just, they don't have a First Amendment. So uh, a lot of them are being toted off. So uh, that'll be interesting to watch. Keep stacking, no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, there, there's just a lot, a lot of things happening, a lot of things going on. Uh, keep praying. Uh, I do wonder if, you know, as far as Putin, he's not going to stop. He doesn't want to, he's not going to just turn tail and run. The only way I see this ending peacefully without escalating into other countries being involved is, is one or two things, either somehow they meet again as Zelensky and Putin come to some kind of agreement to split the country up or something that'll satisfy both. Maybe, um, we can hope and pray for that. Or the less likely, uh, is that I have to think that some generals in, in the top near Putin don't like what's going on either. They may be afraid to say it. Maybe somebody could remove him. That's probably less, not likely to happen, but just a thought that would end this. Verse for today, sticking with Psalm 139, of uh, chapter, uh, Psalm 139, uh, verse 12 says, even in the darkness, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day. For darkness is as light with you. Darkness is as light with you. So keep that in mind. Lord our God, it's always light. No darkness. Amen. All right, keep stacking, keep praying. Be aware out there. Be safe. God bless you. I'll see you soon.